she's uh, the, the founder and owner of your purpose-driven practice. Uh, and she does a coaching program. Um, so she's somebody that's really uh, interested in you and your practice and what you can do. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you. Rebecca doesn't even know this. It's about me. She doesn't know that I was adopted. Yeah. Yeah, I asked my mom if I was ever adopted, and she said, yeah, but they kept bringing me back, so I, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't work out. Just kidding. Okay, so Rebecca. Uh, she's a creator of, creator of the uh, speaker talent search. So anyone who wants to get into speaking engagements, uh, she's got a system set up where you can do those sorts of things and kind of learn how to uh, do speaking where you can uh, put yourself in place to get speaking arrangements. So that works out well. She's uh, number one international bestseller author uh, several times over. So when, if you want to talk to somebody who knows how to get a book published, this is the person you can do. And she also hosts a, a weekly international TV and radio series. So amongst other things, I'll introduce you to my daughter and all those other things too. Rebecca. everyone for such a, a warm welcome. What a, what a fabulous way to start a standing ovation in the beginning. It takes all the pressure off. <laughs> but I'm thrilled to have all of you here today as we talk about mindful holiday magic. I think sometimes in the hustle and bustle of the season, it's exciting. We look forward to it, typically. But it starts to run us and we can start to have all these things on to-do list and pressure. And it's easy to forget to be mindful. Somewhere in that hustle and bustle, we can lose some of the magic. You know, we see it on the cards that we're receiving. We see it starting sometimes before Halloween in the stores. <laughs> the movies, the music but we may not be feeling that. And so today I'm really excited to give us an opportunity to stop, pause, and look at bringing that magic forward because I've discovered it's not from the outside. It's from within. And here is an opportunity I celebrate that you leaned in to giving yourself a full day of being supported, of connecting, of growing, learning, and each of you are part of this beautiful mixture that's creating magic today. So I thank you for being here. I'm very excited for the program that we've put together. We've got a great lineup of speakers, and before we get started, every time we have an event, we always come up on stage. My speakers can t testify that this is true. And we take a moment to stop, pause, center, and revisit our intention and purpose for the day. What is it that we are committing to bringing forward? And just tapping into that so we can support each other and hold this space for all of you to be served. Because each of you are here on purpose. It's not an accident, you didn't just stumble in. You're here on purpose, and that means I know there is something here for each and every one of you. In fact, there's a reason you're sitting at the table you're sitting at. The people at the table, there's magic there, right? Already the magic has begun, and I love it. <laughs> so remember that. Remember there's a purpose. Remember there's a reason. Remember there is something here for you, or you would not be here. So be willing to receive everything that can support you on your journey. We have people that have traveled from long distances, that have flown in, that are here to connect with you. This is a special mix of people because each and every one of you are here. 
It would not be the same with one of you missing. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of this and have this openness to receive all the magic that is here for you to receive and to give. Can we do that? Okay. Are we excited to be here? Yeah. Okay, okay. And just in case we do have the phone issue Dad was talking about, we do have plenty of sweets I noticed in the back there as well. So just in case, I want you to know we've got you. You're not here alone, we're with you. <laughs> Um, thank you for sharing that, that fact. I was like, where's dad? Ah, oh, dad, perfect. <laughs> so in case anyone didn't know yet, that's my dad. <laughs> he is a hero in my life and rescued me from a very unhealthy um, environment as a child and fought that battle to pull me out of that environment and walk beside me on that long healing journey. So it's such a, a privilege and an honor to have him supporting me at these events and being part of it. So can we give my dad a round of applause? <laughs> also, we have so many amazing authors in the room. I'm very honored to have this group of just incredible authors that have come together. And they were drawn to this book. Anybody in our books, they are called to be there. It's not just a book, it's a living, breathing thing that they are called to be a part of and contribute to, and they have a message that's coming forth, and that's what's gotten woven into Step Forward and Shine. And so I wanted to give you an opportunity to connect with them, to get your book signed by over 20 authors in it that are in the room here today. So what we're doing is, this is magic, right? So I'm gonna take my magical flower, whoosh! The registration table is now the author book signing table. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> during breaks, uh, during lunch, after the event, um, authors, if you want to swing by there and you're willing to sign books. We've got chairs where you can pull up and sign some books. That'll be great. VIPs, you're going to get some more exclusive time with all the authors during our VIP portion of the event, the Afterglow. Um, but I want everyone to have that opportunity to mingle and get their books signed. Here's another tip. Anyone who has a book, they all look the same. Have you noticed that? They have the same cover. So they can get confused on who their owner is. So it would be great if you open it up and on the inside of the cover, write your name. So if everybody remembers to check their book cover before they leave, everyone will go home with the right book. <laughs> and then I have personally signed each book. That's in the front. So if you can't quite read the shh, that's my autograph. <laughs> and a different message in every book. And I was led to place them where I placed, just as you were led to sit where you were led to sit. So I trust the right message has gone to the right person. So I hope that you enjoy those. Those of you who are not VIPs and would really like to, to have a book, we've got them. <laughs> They're on sale today. You can get them at the book table as well. So I don't want anyone feeling excluded that would really like to have a copy and be able to engage in that. So you'll be able to do that during breaks and lunch, etc. Okay? So we're good there? We're excited? So where do you go if you're an author or you're looking to get your book signed? Oh, so good, the magic worked, okay, we're good. I want to claim today this space as sacred for you. This is a space where you can stretch where you can grow, you can show up authentically, powerfully. Perfection, by the way, is not allowed yeah. in this space. Because I've discovered it isn't about perfection. It's about connection. And when we're trying so hard to be perfect and we put all these barriers up 
an image up and the way we're wanting to be a certain way, analyzing everything that we share out, we start to become stiff and separated. So today, let's just release all that. Let's be willing to be, to connect. And I think that, that authenticity is truly beautiful. And it's sometimes in those moments when we're speaking from our heart and stretching, sometimes the wrong word comes out. Or we stumble because we're not paying attention to our feet. (laughs) We're paying attention to the message, the person we're connecting with. And what can happen at those moments is we start this dialogue. (gasps) I can't believe I did that. Oh my goodness, I said the opposite of what I meant. Now they're not even gonna hear it. Like the body's still here. (laughs) They're just not even gonna hear what I said. I just lost all credibility. I blew it. I I don't know what to do. And, And our mouth is still going. We're still talking, but we're not in it anymore. We've lost the connection. And what can shift that in a moment is having someone come alongside us, because it's not a solo journey, and reminding us, you are so beautiful. And I see that in you, especially in that moment, because I can see me too. And we have an opportunity today as we create this sacred space to hold each other in that way. And the way I would like us to do that is to use a phrase, you are so beautiful. I want to build this muscle, use it throughout the day. Can we do that? Are you sure? Because I'm going to test this out. Guaranteed. (laughs) Let's let's try this. (gasps) Trip. Thank you. See how I kind of leaned in, lit up, I received. Have you ever noticed sometimes we'll brush it off? They don't really mean it. They just caught me at a good angle. And we don't take it in. We don't even take that icon. We go, thanks. And we try to say something nice back. We don't really receive. When somebody says, you are so beautiful, they're giving you a message. They're seeing beauty in you. Receive that and try to see a little bit of what they see. Let's try it again. Oh my goodness, I tore my presentation. Okay, good. Good. I think we're ready. So let's turn to neighbor, make eye contact, and say the magic phrase. On the count of three, one, Two, three, you are. And men, you are beautiful too. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do it again. Let's find another neighbor. Make eye contact. On the count of three, one, two, three, you are. Okay, and let's do a third. Oh, sweets. <laughs> I love it. Oh, she's got music playing. I love that. You are so beautiful to me. (laughs) Beautiful. Thank you. Let's do it one more time because I love three. Make this count. Dig deep. Eye contact. Let them feel it. One, two, three. Ah. Wonderful. Now, did you all notice the energy increased in the room? I see lots of smiles, warmth, and connection. And it takes just that moment of connection and reminding each other of a truth. And you can use that throughout the day. I want to encourage you to do that. Now, I had shared earlier that I want to claim this as a sacred space, that this is a safe place to stretch and grow. So one thing that can happen when we come to an event and we're dedicating a full Saturday, there can be some pressure. Does anyone have pressure in their lives sometimes? (laughs) And maybe things take a little bit longer than you expect or there's difficulties in traveling 
or the to-do list is running through your head of what needs to happen. Perhaps there was a disagreement in the morning or the night before. Like We're in the middle of real life as we are continuing on our journey. But part of you getting the most out of your time together today is really being willing to be present. So I'm gonna walk us through an exercise in a couple moments to help us claim this space, release some of those things that can pull at us, distractions. We'll put them in lovely safekeeping so you can pick them up later, but they're not in this room because you said yes to this event. And you actually said yes multiple times. Yes when you heard about it, then yes when you registered. And then yes again when the confirmation was sent. And yes yet again when you came this morning because you had choices all along that way. That's why I can confidently say I know there's a reason you are here. I know there is a purpose for you being here. So I want you to receive everything that is here and I want you to be willing to give everything that is called to give. Because the magic, hopefully we have magic we're bringing you on stage, that is our intention, (laughs) to serve you. But magic is gonna happen throughout the day at your tables and at these events. So be willing because you have choice. I can see you in body, but you could be elsewhere in spirit. You have choice. (laughs) Be mindful of that. Choose to be here. Choose to receive what is here for you. Can we do that? Wonderful. So let's take a moment and close our eyes. You're absolutely safe. And by the way, I can see if you don't. Just so you know. (laughs) And I can get feisty sometimes. (laughs) So let's close our eyes. (laughs) Take a breath. And give yourself, your mind, full experience. Everything that might be pulling at you. Just let it all come up. everything that is running through your mind, the to-do list, anything that's kind of pulling at you and distracting a little bit. Let it have its moment right now. And then capture that. And lovingly, let's place it into a heart-shaped box. Oh, there's one more. Boxes have lids. So let's put the lid on top of the box has tiny, tiny air holes, so nothing is suffocating. There's room for all, but it's contained. And boxes are kind of heavy. So let's take a breath. We're going to breathe and remove them from our space here today, but I'll let you know where we're sending them, okay? Count of three. And to big breath, boxes are heavy. One, two, three. And then... Keep breathing out the room, across the lobby, across the street, to the mall. (laughs) They can roam, entertainment, all is well. Probably holiday music. (laughs) You know where they are. Great. So let's open up our eyes and stand. Because it's difficult to stand with the eyes still closed. I discovered that. (laughs) Close your eyes one more time. This way no one sees you. Move around a little bit. Move your hips. Eyes closed. Sometimes we move around. There's more things that kind of come up. And let's take a moment and as our eyes are closed, kind of scan anything else pulling at us. Lovingly, let's collect that. And we'll put that into a blue shiny bag with that cellophane-y tissue paper on top. Let's take a breath. We're going to remove this to the same place. On the count of three, one, two, three. (sighs) Out the room, across the lobby, across the street. Keep breathing, keep breathing. I need support. More breath. Okay. Across that parking lot. It's a big parking lot to the mall. (laughs) Beautiful. Go ahead and open up your eyes. Fully present. And go ahead and have a seat. So now everyone knows where to pick up what they choose, because you have choice, what you choose to pick up when you leave today. But this space is yours. We claim it collectively. And anytime something's pulling at you, you know where you can lovingly place it. 
and you know where to pick it up, the pieces you choose to pick up when you leave. Does that sound good? Okay, so now we've created a little bit of room and space, which is fabulous. But what can happen when we have room and space? Whoosh, stuff can come in. <laughs> so that's a great thing when you're at an event that you're looking to receive, but I wanted to give you some framework to support you in that. We've gone through some tools, but it's great to have some mindsets to be thinking about to support us when we're about to be poured into, when we're having the opportunity to receive and be felt. So let me run through some of these. We have, uh, I wanna give you a little background on this. We have a, another anthology coming out in December, the first week of December, called Empowering You, and it's Y-O-U, all capital letters, Transforming Lives. Thank you. Thrilled and excited about it. It's a daily inspiration book, 365 days. There, did you know there's 365 days in here? A lot of inspiration. <laughs> Every day, a new inspiration. And so part of what I've been privileged to be as the compiler is I get to read all of those inspirations and be inspired. And all of the quotes, we have a lot of valuable quotes. And the quotes started speaking messages to me and I was becoming inspired. And I'm gonna be sharing a lot of those with you today. They were just laid on my heart um, so powerfully. And one of them I wanted to have as something as we start our day that we're leaning into and we've got that as a way that we're gonna receive information. And this is by Oprah. You become what you believe. Which had me stop and pause. What am I choosing to believe? Moment by moment about myself, about others, circumstances. How am I responding? What am I choosing to believe? Let's be mindful of that. And then this is something I was led to share last Mindful Holiday Magic, so I thought it was interesting that it came forward again to really bring forward, and this is by Les Brown. And he says, most people fail in life. That's kind of a downer, right? <laughs> most people fail in life, not because they aim too high and miss. but they aim too low and hit. So let's be mindful of how we're aiming and aim high. And, and it brought to mind this image of perhaps I'm trying to aim for that star, but aren't there a lot of stars in the sky? And there's room for all of them? So perhaps as I'm aiming for that, the actual right one for me is over here. And it might even be higher. And I would have missed out trying to stay safe and trying to understand how everything works and where everything's gonna go. So I wanna encourage you today, bring that magic in, aim high. Stretch beyond what you can see and where you're wanting to go, not having to understand how. But what are those things on your heart that are coming forward through our time together today that you wanna aim for. Because you can become a shooting star. You can be in movement and bring light to others. So I wanna encourage you, aim high. Be mindful of where you're allowing yourself to go because you've got choice in all of that. And then I believe Visibility is really, really important. And that is not a belief I have always held. In fact, coming from the circumstances I had come from, it was very unsafe to be seen and to be heard. So I strove to stay safe, to stay below the radar. I had internalized this on a cellular level. It was part of every cell in my body. It's not safe, don't be seen. Stay below the radar. And yet, 
I had this heart to make a difference. I wanted for my passing there to make a positive impact. I wanted when I saw hurt, I wanted to support and to heal. But I discovered if they cannot see you, if they cannot hear you, you cannot help them. So to me, visibility, being seen, is about shining so brightly they can see you in a storm, not just when there's fair weather. And the only thing I know that cuts through darkness is light. We wanna be easy to find, to be visible. And I wanna help us stretch today, stretch our comfort zone a little bit. And a way we can do that is play. You guys like to have fun? Isn't it fabulous we we can stretch our boundaries and it can maybe be fun? It doesn't always have to be scary and hard. Is that cool? Okay, so I've got a way that we can do that throughout the day and I will also have times where I'm gonna give you extra credit bonus stretching opportunity too. Okay, so I discovered my people don't like, uh, they don't like homework. They don't like to have to do stuff, but extra credit, gold star, woo! They're there, so I will give you opportunities throughout the day to lean in and take things to another level, but always know you have choice in all of this. And as Oprah assures, you become what you believe. What are you believing? What actions are following that? But I wanna share the fun activity, and this was taught to me by my cat, Nina. Does anyone have powerful animal friends in your life and family? My cats, I'm Rebecca Hawkrider, I love lists, and I am a cat lady, I love cats, I do, (laughs) I've got some cat people in the room, yay, and every cat that I've been blessed to have in my life and do have in my life, they teach me different things, they all have different personalities, and one of them was Nina, and Nina always made an interest, which I thought was fascinating, because she was kind of a shy cat overall. But she'd come into a room and she pranced. She didn't just like walk, she pranced. And then she'd wait at the entrance, tail up, head up, for you to notice her. None of my other cats did this. And she would wait, because I'm involved working, right? She'd wait. And if I didn't notice her, she would chirp. She didn't meow, she chirped. Kind of like, ahem, still posed and ready. I go, oh, hi, hi, Nina. (laughs) Great to see you, and then she was happy went about her cat business. She did this every single room she entered. I thought it was fascinating. And then I started to get curious. I wonder what that's like, to like show up on purpose. I was the, when the cameras came, I was the duck away person. Has anyone done that? Camera, yeah. And they take the picture anyway, right? And it doesn't look good. The duck away picture never looks good. And they post it. So I finally decided on purpose, I will at least face the camera and smile. So it looked like I did it on purpose. But sometimes it's hard to kind of harness that energy. So as I'm watching Nina, I thought, huh, I'm gonna try this. So I dolled myself all up one day and just to give some background on this, I work from home and my office is upstairs and my husband doesn't. And so he'll come home sometimes. He doesn't know what he's walking into. Some days, I might be wearing the ball gown with everything sparkly I owned and a tiara because it just felt like that kind of day. (laughs) He's okay on those kind of days. Another time, he'll come in and it was like the, I crawled out of bed day. The pajamas are still on and there's a green gunk on my face. He's not as fond of coming home to that. (laughs) So he's had this whole range. I might have a cowgirl hat on, like whatever kind of brings a spark that day and supports me. That's one of the things I get to do working from home, you know, bring in that support. So I've noticed he's just kind of rolling with everything these days, right? However I appear, hi, honey, love you. You look great. That's been a consistent comment regardless of the range I've noticed. (laughs) So I choose to believe he sees the authentic me and loves me. (laughs) And that's what he's seen each of those moments and times. But I tried, let me try the Nina effect. So I dolled myself all up. 
And I, I waited till he was occupied, had come in, settled downstairs, and I sneaked down the stairs. And I kind of draped myself <laughs> at the base of the stairs. And he doesn't notice me. And doesn't notice. So I thought, what would Nina do? <clears throat> I don't chirp. <clears throat> and he looks up and he goes, oh, hi, hi, honey. Not quite the response I was going for. I go, so I decided to help. He needed training just like I needed training with Nina. I go, don't I look good? He goes, yeah, honey, you look great. Thank you. And then I could go about my day. I was good. So I did this because, you know, the training part. What I didn't realize is it was contagious. One day he came up the stairs to my office, all dressed up, hat, he likes hats. And mine's like, hey, or hey. His is like, the head, he tips the, tips the hat. He comes up and I'm occupied, so again, I don't notice. And then he goes, ahem, and I look up, he goes, hey. <laughs> oh you look good. I learned, right? <laughs> and celebrated. And it came really fun. So I felt like this is like, ta-da. It's like really showing up. And then I thought, what if I did this all on my own? I go to the mirror that morning. I'm dragging a little bit. And I make eye contact. And I go, ta-da. The day may begin. I have arrived. <laughs> I boosted myself right up. I felt great and the day unfolded powerfully. So we can use this and show up on purpose and powerfully and have fun because you're gonna have moments throughout the day where it's gonna feel like that spotlight's on you and you're gonna have a moment to choose to duck away or to lean in and say ta-da. So if you don't know what to do when those moments happen, not if, because they're gonna happen in our lives, I wanna encourage you to go ta-da. Can we do that? Are you sure? Because you know I'll, I'll test this. Okay, let's stand up. Let's try. <laughs> and remember, we have to do the whole prancing, strutting thing. You can choose your style, right? Okay. And this can be so ready. Come on. Are we prancing? <gasps> okay. One, two, three. <gasps> Ta-da! Great. Oh, you guys are good. Let's do it again. Other side. You add a little sass, a little style. One, two, three. Ta-da! Okay, and this is the one just for you looking in the mirror. You're going to inspire yourself throughout the day. Lift yourself up every single moment by choice. Can we feel that energy? Yes. Like count of three, both hands. One, two, three. Ta-da! Oh, fabulous. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. You may have a seat and carry that energy throughout the day. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. My intention as I was getting ready for the day, and I always focus in on that, is I want to hold the space for all of you. I want to serve you to where we're pouring into you, to that place that you're overflowing, not from overflowing heavy, overflowing because you've been so nourished. There's so much you can bring forward. That's my intention, that you're able to tap into that, be fully nourished, be able to echo that magic out into the world. But that's a little bit different than what I thought my intention was when I was planning the event a year ago and as the day got closer and closer. So I'm curious if you have an intention, a reason that you were coming today, a purpose, and have you checked in to see if it shifted a little bit? Because I know you're here on purpose and for a purpose. And I want to give us a moment now that we've cleared the distraction. We've got our beautiful framework to receive information. We've got our tools to support us. We're fully held in that safe and sacred space that we have. What is it that's going to support you? So let's take a moment and close our eyes. Absolutely safe. Put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, bringing you all in mind, body, soul, and spirit. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth like through a straw. Take another breath. Let's bring oxygen to every cell in our body. 
And in this space, in this connection, what is it that you need today? What is it that will serve you, support you, empower you? What is it that you need today and are willing to receive because you have choice? What is it that you need and are willing to receive? See if that shifts anything a little bit. Something to be aware of. Wonderful. So receive that information. Picture, sounds, whatever way it comes to you. Words, a knowing. Come back into the room, eyes open, fully present, and take a moment to write it down. Let's get it out of you to where you can see it so it can support you. I want to encourage you to keep it top of mind. It is so easy in a day full of amazing connections, lots of information, to get distracted and to forget what it is that you need and are willing to receive. I want to encourage you to be on the lookout, actively watching for it, ready to receive. And here's the extra credit bonus stretch. You ready? Gold stars. Stretch yourself to be unattached to how that need is met. In fact, look for a way to be unexpectedly surprised at the powerful and loving way that need was met in such an unexpected way. And be willing to receive it. We're going to take a moment to go around the room because I would love each of you to get to know each other, to share a little bit about you because this is part of our connecting. I believe each of you, if you look at the flower pens that many of you are using, that just makes me smile. (laughs) Um, That's a tradition my grandmother started, and she would make flower pens. And that was her way of touching people's lives, of brightening their spirit. She would tie it into seasons. And one day I looked up and I saw this bouquet and I realized, that's us all these different colors and textures and scents and seasons in this beautiful garden of life. And we're designed to all be different. And that's part of what creates that amazing beauty. And so for me, I carry that forward. It's a way of bringing that tradition forward for my grandmother. I lovingly make each and every one of those with blessings. I promise I don't make them when I'm angry or stressed. That's not woven into them. (laughs) It's love and support and anticipation of who will receive that flower, who's going to plant that in their garden. So as we're growing our garden today, wouldn't it be wonderful to know a little bit about each flower? So we're going to go around the room and introduce ourselves. We completed the garden and appreciate each and every one of you standing and sharing. Um, What an honor to have all of you. Our helper team you'll get to meet a little bit later. That's why a few people didn't stand up and share. Um, So no one's being left out. I didn't want anyone concerned. They were missing a flower in the garden. Um, But we acknowledge and um, celebrate them a little bit differently later on in the day. Um, But just a privilege to get to know each of you. And did you hear some themes? Did you hear, feel some connections being made as you got to learn a little bit about each other? And one of the things is beautiful about starting to form these connections and getting to know each other a little bit is weaving our intentions together, supporting each other, because again, it's not a solo journey. So I'd like to take a moment for us to mindfully and purposely weave our intentions together. Can I have a stand? Beautiful. Great. And close your eyes. No distractions. Beautiful. Eyes closed. And I want you to think about the intention that was laid on your heart and actually hold it in your heart for a moment. 
sending that love, support, and celebration because you're excited about seeing how that will move forward and your need will be met. And then, with great love and trust, breathe it out into the room. Now allowing others to support you, come alongside and weave in with your intention. Supporting you and all that you're called to bring forward. And then let's breathe in that beautiful mixture and hold it in our heart, our spirit, sending it love and support. Then breathe it out. Further mixing the front and the back, the sides, everything mixing together. And then we're going to breathe that in one more time, holding it in our heart, and then breathing that out into the room. Beautiful. Go ahead and have a seat. Are you a speaker looking to reach more people with your message? You have a global vision that you want to touch the world and make a global difference. If so, I have an amazing opportunity for you. It's called the Speaker Talent Search. Again, that's the Speaker Talent Search.com. You'll find all the details, but here are the highlights. With one application process, you get clarity on your message. You get to fine tune how you want to reach the world. Then you'll have everything ready in one place for the opportunities when they come. Second, we select you as a finalist. You get to come in an audition with a seven minute audition, open up the door to hundreds of speaking opportunities. I hope you lean in. I hope you say yes. We would love to hear your message, help you touch the world powerfully. Again, that's the speakertalentsearch.com. We look forward to hearing your powerful message. Hi, I'm Rebecca Hallgreider, and I'm the producer of the Empowered Connections TV channel. And I wanted to personally invite you to come on over, enjoy our amazing shows. We are all about empowering women. We're all about transforming lives. We're empowering men to really step out and be all they can be. We are looking for programming and shows to bring things to the next level. So if you are somebody that feels a show birthing within you, you have a calling to bring your show to life and touch the world, please reach out to me. I'd love to have a conversation with you. We are launching new programs and shows every week, every month, because we're going to change the world. I look forward to talking to you.